Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy 8. In this video, I'm going to show an extended example I'm calling Seasonal Rooms. So I'm going to go ahead and change the game's title here to Seasonal Rooms. Now the reason I'm calling this example Seasonal Rooms is that we've now learned that when we work with colors over here as part of the colors tool, we have three colors we can choose from, the background, the tile, and the sprite. We also know that these exist on a per room basis, and rooms are sections of our story or our game. Rooms contain the avatar, the thing that we move around, tile, the background or potentially the walls, sprites, things we interact with, and items, things we use. In the colors effect, all of those things on a per room basis, as we've now seen. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to come over here to Sprite, and I'm going to just remove this Sprite, the default Sprite for right now. Now what I want to do is I'm going to create two other rooms, and those other rooms are going to have their own color palettes. Now when we think of color palettes, those are just sets of colors, and again, on a per room basis. So over here as part of the room tool, I'm going to go ahead and create a new room, call this Winter. And then I'm going to go ahead and create another new room, and I'm going to call this Spring. So now we have three rooms. We have the example room, we have Winter, and we have Spring. Now I want to move back and forth, so a two-way exit from example room to Winter, and then back, and then from example room to Spring, and then back. So to do that, over here in the Room tool, I'm going to come down here to Exits and Endings, and I'm going to pop out its tool right here. And so we have the exits and endings tool. And it says, oh, we don't have any, which we don't. So I'm going to go ahead and add one. And this is going to be a two-way, which is the default for exit. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and move this over here for winter. So 13.7 for winter. And then we're going to end up over here in winter. So let's go ahead and shift over in the room tool to winter. And I want to move its to over here. 27. Okay. Now let's move back to example. And I want to create another exit right here, two way. Notice we have exit two of two. And I want to move this time from over here, uh, three seven. And then this time I want to change where we end up. I don't want to go to winter. I want to go to something completely different. So notice it defaulted to winter, but that's not where I want to go. I want to go over here to spring. So let's go ahead and move. And we will put it roughly the same place. And now it says spring to six. So now we have exits from the entrance room, right here, the example room that is, sorry, to winter. And we can also go back over here to spring. However, we don't exactly see anything in those spaces. So what we're going to do now is we should add something. So I want to paint now. So I need to shift back over to paint and I'm going to go ahead and close this tool. So shift all these back over and I'm going to go ahead and move over to tile. Tiles are really good if we want to create again, some type of background or some type of thing that we pass through like a door, for example, or we want to also create walls. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is for tile block, I'm going to click on wall. And then now these are all walls, which means we avatar cannot pass through them. I'm going to go ahead and create a new tile, which I'm going to style like a door. So just simply like this. And then I will fill this in and I'm clicking and dragging. So I'm drawing multiple things instead of drawing a single square at a time. And I'm going to go ahead and call this door. Okay, so for our exits and endings, which I have forgotten where they are, so let's pop this back out. So, okay, let's go back over here from uh, example room 13.7. Okay, so from 13.7, where's 13.7? It is right here. Okay, come back over to paint, drop down a door. Okay, let's go back over here. What is this? This is 3.7 in example room. So let's go ahead and find a 3, 7 over here on our grid. It's 2, 7, 2, 8, 3, 7. Perfect. So now we've got a door there and a door there. So let's go ahead and shift over to winter. 
Now let's double check our exits. Where are our exits for winter? There is one in two seven. Let's find two seven. That's two five, two six, two seven. All right. Now let's move over to spring. And where is it in spring? It is in two six. So let's go ahead and find two six. That's two five and two six. Okay, so let's just play this as is. So seasonal rooms. Notice we have doors and we can exit here and come back. We can exit here and come back. So notice I tried to make those coordinates pretty similar. So notice we can come in, come back, go in and go back. And of course our tiles are now set to be walls so we cannot pass through them. So let's go ahead and stop this. So now we have multiple rooms. We have an example room, we have winter, and we have spring. So let's go ahead over here in winter, come back over, make sure of course we're in paint, come back over here to paint, and I don't need exits right now, we're kind of done with those. I'll come back over to block, and let's put some blocks down. So I'm holding the left click down as I draw right here, and I've enclosed this right here. And let's go over here to spring and do the exact same thing. Whoops. It's okay, we'll have to draw a new door there in just a moment, but that's okay. Let me fix my little mistakes here. And of course, draw a new door, which was at two six, I believe. Okay, so for our door, it's not a wall. But for our block, they are walls, we can't pass through them. So we have three rooms, example room, and we can move to winter, and we can move to spring. Now the name of this is seasonal rooms. So seasonal rooms should probably have seasonal colors. So let's go over here to the colors tool right here, and I'm going to create a new palette. Now remember, of course, each palette gives us only three colors, and that applies on a per room basis, and rooms include the avatar, tiles, sprites, and items. So let's go ahead and call this winter. We might as well match the palette with the room. And now let's pick colors that are relatively wintry. So I think kind of a bluish would be good for the tiles. I think more of a white color right here. And for the sprite color, more kind of a, maybe a lightish blue. So we got kind of a, an ice-like color for winter. Okay, so let's come over here to this room tool right here, shift over to winter. And now I wanna change the color palette or the colors for this particular room. So I'm in the room tool come down to colors, come down here from blueprint, switch it over to winter. And now we have our winter colors. Okay, let's do the exact same thing for spring. Now we have spring right here, come over to the colors tool. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new palette. And again, we only have three colors. So let's go ahead and match these names. Spring. Okay, so let's change the background color to something a lot warmer. Something like that maybe and our tile color to something also warmer. That feels spring. And our sprite color to uh, maybe like a very nice slight purple. There we go, a little more spring-like colors. So the same thing over here in the room tool for the spring room, come down to its colors and change to spring. Ooh, kind of bright, but that's okay. So we now have over here, example room using blueprint colors. We have winter room using winter colors, and we have spring room using spring colors, which are a little bright, but that's okay for this example. So remember on a per room basis, we've now changed the color palette of our three colors that we have, the background, the tile, and the sprite. Now, as we move between these rooms, because it's on a per room basis, we will also then change colors. So let's go ahead and see this in action. So again, I'm moving the avatar using either WASD or the arrow keys on the keyboard. I will move into a new room and I've shifted color palettes. Let's move back and now shift over here. And I've shifted color palettes. And notice we've got to set up seasonal rooms. We have a winter room and a spring room with its corresponding colors. Again, affecting avatar, tile, sprite, and item. And now we've moved back. And now we've created 
an example of using these things, combining all of the knowledge that we've reviewed across these videos. We know we have an avatar, the thing we move around. We have tiles, which could be a background or could be a wall, and we're using both in this video. We have a sprite, which we're not quite using in this video, things we interact with, and items, things we use. We've also seen how all of those things are in a room. And we've seen that we can then paint things on a room, paint the avatar, tiles, sprites, and items, and we can also change the colors. We have a background color, a tile color, and a sprite color, our three colors that are available, but we can create different collections of those we call palettes. So over each palette we create, we can associate it with a different room. So we have blueprint associated with example room, we have winter associated with winter, and spring with spring. So in all of these cases, as we're now using colors with the avatar, with multiple tiles, and in a previous video, multiple sprites, and as we'll see very soon, multiple items, we can start to combine all of these different concepts together as part of Bitsy 8 to create more engaging and advanced games within Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.